We've been talking about this system that's moving across the deep south this afternoon. We were talking about this yesterday. This is what prompted our first alert weather day for tomorrow morning. Now we do have some good news for our area that that severe weather threat has really diminished very nicely for us. The dynamics just not going to be where we need them to be to get any sort of severe thunderstorms going. But unfortunately, folks off to our west in Mississippi and Louisiana. Currently, we have several tornado warnings there on the north and south sides of Jackson and off to the west as well. And then this we've seen tornado warnings all the way from northern parts of Alabama back into eastern Texas out of this system. We're starting to see the beginnings of those rains working its way into uh, Knoxville through Chattanooga, getting those thunderstorms. So it is not too far away from our area. In fact, by the time we get to about seven, eight o'clock, we're going to start to see some of these showers and thunderstorms working their way in. And yes, I do think we're still going to see that possibility of thunderstorms. However, it's just not going to be severe. We could see still some of those uh, gustier winds into the mountains and we're talking more of those 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts but I'm not expecting to see anything to severe level and we would see those wind gusts even outside of thunderstorms overnight tonight. Notice by 10 o'clock most of this is still kind of hanging out into the mountains here. Um, Pickens and Oconee County starting to see some of that as well. Becomes a little more widespread though across the upstate and northeast Georgia as we look towards about 1 a.m. and notice these heavy pockets of rain moving through through those early hours of Wednesday. It's those uh, oranges and those reds, that's the heavy rain moving through. By about 4 o'clock, we see almost that last round of heavy rain that's going to look through the area. And by about 7 o'clock, this particular model clears us out. Now, there is another model or two out there that's keeping this uh, closer to about 8 o'clock with some of those pockets of heavy rain moving through. So that's why we're keeping that first alert weather day for tomorrow morning is it looks like it could still be messy for that morning commute. Even if that rain's starting to taper off, that pockets of uh, those ponding on the roadways is certainly a possibility. But by Wednesday afternoon, this is cleared out. Again, this is one of the reasons we have brought down that potential. The severe weather risk, the dynamics are going to be more down to our south and off to our west into central Georgia. So at this point, we're just looking at heavy rain out of this. Uh, that's why we're keeping that first alert weather day for tomorrow morning. Once we get through this system, as we head into Thursday and Friday, those cooler temperatures are going to arrive on the backside of it. They're lagging a little bit behind the rain, but by Thursday and Friday morning, you're waking up to morning lows below freezing across our area. 20s and low 30s, afternoon highs into the 50s for Thursday and Friday. Remember, you can get the latest on the forecast by downloading the First Alert weather app. Scan the QR code right there on your screen. We send out alerts throughout the day and overnight tonight. Of course, if anything does become of a concern for us this evening as those rain chances start to ramp up, we'll of course send you updates and alerts right to your phone. But now it's